So now that the economy is opening back up, we're starting to get a lot of questions about people that qualified for their PPP loans and their employees aren't coming back. And so they're worried that they're not going to be forgiven the total amount of their loan because they don't have the expenses um, for the payroll of their employees that aren't coming back. Do you have any um, advice or guidance on that? Well, actually, the SBA frequently asks questions uh, on one or more recent questions they've posted answers that. And that is, if you have a PPP loan and you're opening back up and you offer that laid off employee employment again, will that reduce your PPP forgiveness? The answer is no, but it's got a hook with it. The answer is no, as long as the employer in good faith, which means in writing, offers to rehire. And if that employee then refuses to work, then that should not impact it. But you got to document it. But also realize if the employee does not come back, that same that same answer continues with the employer and employee need to realize that may forfeit the unemployment qualification of that employee. If the, that person documents that the employee is not coming back, does that affect the employee at all for their unemployment? Yeah, it, it's if they refuse to... If the employer, under the PPP rules, if the employer offers in writing to rehire and that employee refuses, then at that point in time, then that could jeopardize their unemployment. For example, yesterday, I actually had a client call saying, if I don't do this, will it reduce my debt forgiveness? And the answer is, I think it will because... If you've, if you've reduced your number of employees and you have it in good faith, in, which means in writing, go to the rehiring, then it's probably going to reduce your debt forgiveness. So this is a double-edged sword between the employer and an employee. Mm-hmm.